mentioned that you are investigating or you've investigated um you uh, some have been convicted some have been asked to pay back in the words of um, a critical journalist, for example, from Os Dixon, those are small fishes. The bigger fishes are still there. I mean, they continue to swim in corruption. They enjoy everything. But the SEC is not going after them. What's the, what's the take of the SEC? That is incorrect. The Anti-Corruption Commission is an evidence-based institution. Sometimes when it comes to investigation, there's a difference between what you know and what you can prove. The burden on us is to prove our case beyond all reasonable doubts. So we do not base our case and investigations on speculation. So for example, when has Thomas Dixon come forward with evidence to the ACC and the ACC did not investigate the big fishes that are swimming, that are being let go? But I have called names, the state chief of protocol, was that not a big fish? The guys in the Ministry of Information, were those not big fish? The electricity department where the managing director and the deputy are on suspension. Are they not big fish? The SLMA, the current head of the Sierra Leone Maritime Administration, Masakoi, is under investigation on procurement issues. Are they not big fish? The problem is the same thing I am saying. It is not because they do not know that we are doing excellently well in the fight against corruption. But everybody has his fish that he wants the ACC to fry for him. So you can fry all the barracudas in the world. You can fry all the catfishes in the world. But this man is looking for his own fish and he has categorized him as big. As long as you do not barbecue him, all the one million fishes you fry are not important to him because that one fish that he categorizes as big fish is driving a nice car, he's wearing a nice suit, he goes to church or mosque and prays. He thinks that you should do his bidding. The Anti-Corruption Commission has to hold the balance. In as much as we want to ensure a decent accountability space where impunity does not prevail, but we cannot do wish hunt. We have to do our job professionally and fairly and that's what we are doing. And that is why we are receiving the awards. Right. And that is why we are receiving the accolades. That is why the country is benefiting from it. That is why in every index across the world, we are today at the highest ever. If we are only going after the past that are doing so. Ah, 2018, 2019, 2020, this is 2021. And we are just going up because we are going after the past. I mean, to be honest, let's apply common sense in our analysis. Now.